Today's meditation is on 2 Corinthians chapter 4. It is through God's mercy that I have been entrusted with the privilege of this new covenant ministry, so I do not lose heart. I will not quit or faint with weariness. Rather, I have renounced secret and shameful ways. I reject every cover-up and refuse to resort to cunning trickery or distorting the word of God. On the contrary, by setting forth the truth plainly, I open up my soul, presenting the truth to the conscience of others in the sight and presence of God. And even if the gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing. The God of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel that displays the glory of Christ, who is the divine image of God. I don't preach myself, but rather the Lordship of Jesus Christ, for I am a servant for his sake. For God, who said, Let light shine out of darkness, has cascaded his light into me, the brilliant dawning light of the glorious knowledge of God as I gaze into the face of Jesus Christ. I am like a common clay jar that carries this glorious treasure within so that this immeasurable power will be seen as God's, not mine. I may be hard-pressed on every side, but I am not crushed, perplexed, nor in despair. At times I may not know what to do, but quitting is not an option. I may be persecuted by others, but God will never forsake or abandon me. I may be struck down, but I will not be destroyed. I continually share in the death of Jesus in my own body, so that the resurrection life of Jesus will be revealed through my humanity. I consider living to mean that I am constantly being handed over to death for Jesus' sake, so that the life of Jesus can be revealed. So the death at work in me releases life in others. I have the same spirit of faith as King David when he wrote, First I believed, then I spoke in faith. So also I believed first, then spoke in faith. I am convinced that he who raised Jesus will raise me up with him and present me to himself. This amazing grace is reaching more and more people and will cause thanksgiving to overflow to the glory of God. Therefore, I do not lose heart. Though the outward body eventually wears out, my inner being is renewed every single day. For my light and momentary troubles are achieving for me an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So I fix my eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen, since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Until next time, be blessed and be a blessing.